It's that time of the month again. Oh God, I've got to stop describing it like that. It is time for Japan Crate. And as you can see in front of us today, we have a very special collaboration. That is the one with Fruits Basket. A kind of slice of life comedy and like romantic comedy thing, I think maybe. I'll level with y'all. I've never seen Fruits Basket. I've only ever like heard of it mentioned years and years ago. It's a really old anime. I think like early 2000s or something. Um, yeah, it's not really my kind of genre, but hey, you know, I, I don't I don't begrudge it. It's pretty nice. Anyway, we'll uh, take a quick look at the box. So the artwork on the front is fucking beautiful. Really nice. And uh, we have the girl from Fruits Basket, I presume. On the front, this is, of course, the premium edition. This is their uh, hashtags and stuff for social media. The back uh, has just more of the labels with some very cute cats and a mouse. And on the side we have the website which I shall leave in the description below and underneath actually I've torn off the labels uh, We have a very nice piece of other artwork um, of the three guys and her Hanging out somewhere near a window and of course this is in license to Funimation the Company that does stuff can't say I'm really a fan of them, but hey anyway let's crack it open and as always I'm going to pull out the leaflet, uh, ooh, which this month obviously has an illustration from, ah, I believe that is the colour version. Sorry about that, massive truck just went by the house. Um, that is a colour version, I believe, of this piece here. And yeah, it's like it's a bit old school artwork. I presume there's not a new fruits basket, but I could be wrong. I'm going to take a very quick look to see what's behind here. Oh, okay, yeah, no, it's... Um, so we just got a little like description, we got the artwork from the back of the box which is quite nice and I think, uh, I'll check this in a second, I think this just describes what the series is about. Okay, so yeah, I, I was I was right, this is actually a, um, I don't know if it's a reboot or a sequel or something, they, they started doing this obviously because we had um, Cardcaptor Sakura a while ago and that's had a new series recently, but yeah, um, it seems like there's a new series of Fruits Basket, so I guess if you're into that, Go ahead and give it a watch, maybe, you know, or don't. Anyway, the other pages, as usual, describe what items are in here. Now, I'm obviously not going to show you guys, because that would spoil the video. I'm just going to quickly read it on the back here. And yeah, the back is actually a summary. I don't know how good the quality of my camera is here, but if you want to pause and have a read. But yeah, it's just like a summary of Fruits Basket. It actually sounds kind of interesting. It's about a girl who lives in a tent and then goes and lives with the family who have a secret and a rich or something and she's a housekeeper. Anyway, I'm not too, you know, into describing that at the moment. Instead, let's delve into the snacks on offer in June. Uh, I think it says June, doesn't it? Hang on. It does indeed say June. Anyway, let's get back to a pint of beer. Yeah, boy. Oh, it is actually beer. <laughs> Um, right, okay, I'm presuming, yeah, you, you add this to water, you put it in, you put some water, and it's meant to look like beer, I'm guessing it's going to be like lemon or something. All right, uh, I am back, and indeed it did say Warugaki beer, and um, this is the DIY kit for this month, and I've got to say, I'm actually quite impressed. It's not as bad kids beer, it's, um, it's beer for kids, obviously it's not actually beer, it's, um, you know, it, I presume it's meant to look like beer or something. It's probably lemon flavour or something. So yeah, you just pour it in, mix it with some water, and it's meant to like froth up, I presume, as beer. That's actually very cool. I've got a tankard, so um, keep an eye out. In the next week or two, I shall be doing my food reviews, my like snack reviews of these items, and that for sure is going to be one of them. Ooh, oh, okay. Next up, we've got a penguin bottle... Um, alright then, yeah, uh, oh sorry, mini bottle, uh, mini, okay, yeah, that says mini bottle, cider, oh, okay, so this is a cider mini bottle, and, yeah, it's like, it's a plastic bottle, um, I'm pre oh, wait, no, it's not, it's, ah, well, it's a plastic bottle, but it's got, like, sherbet inside, I think, maybe, yeah, that kind of looks like, ah, okay, it's a plastic bottle, but it's like that thin plastic. Yeah, it's got like uh, apple sherbet or whatever. Let's double check what this is then. 
This is mini bottle candy, and indeed, it's um, it's powder-flavoured candy, and it's one of three flavours, either cider, strawberry, or lemon. I'd have preferred strawberry, to be honest, but cider, you know, is a solid second choice. Uh, yeah, not bad. Powdery kind of stuff. I'm not m mad on them, but, you know, I don't dislike them. Ooh! 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 I thought these were chocolates for a second, I was like, yo, they printed some anime things on chocolate, but no, they're pins, as you can see. Funimation, uh, Japan Crate, Fruits Basket, and indeed, here are the people, all with their names. No, it just says Fruits Basket, okay. So I know those are the Soma family or something, maybe, and that's the girl behind them there, you can't really see her face. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm presuming this is like the promo item then for the collaboration. Let's have a check. This is indeed the Fruits Basket pin set, and is the premium crate bonus item of the week, uh, of the month. Yeah, they're pretty nice looking badges, to be fair. Like, I don't really put badges on stuff, I'll probably just keep it in the packaging here, but they're nice looking badges, so... If you're into putting pins or badges or whatever on things, then that's good. <laughs> Uh, ooh, oh, yo! Now, I had one of these um, a few a few months ago. So cool! Or oh, sugoi. Um, yeah, I had the, um, oh, the one that tastes of, like, maple leaf. Now, obviously, this tastes of something else. Mint. Hey, there we are. Minto. Um, kuru. <laughs> um, kuru in uh, Japanese, uh, in Welsh, actually means beer. So that was interesting to read. Um, yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So it's a um, it's a summer flavored one, I presume. It's like basically it's kind of like pe um, it's a biscuity thing. Like well, the last one had chocolate inside, I believe, but this has probably got mint. It's also blue. I'm really digging that actually. So let's uh, check out what exactly this is. This is Puku Puku Thai uh, mint flavor, and it, yeah, it's a taiyaki. That's the word for it. It's um, I think you buy them in Japanese like festivals, they're shaped like fish, but they're like pastry or something. Obviously these aren't, these are just biscuit versions, but yeah, mint flavour, and um, yeah, it's all very like summery, uh, which I quite like, because honestly I prefer the more refreshing flavours and like fruity flavours to like chocolate and stuff. Chocolate's cool, but I don't know, it gets a bit more tiring than fruity things. Ooh, talking about fruity things, I do believe we have... Something with oranges in. And is... no, oh, that's quite a heavy feel. Hontagame. Uh, Hontagam? Something gum? Maybe? I could be wrong. Yeah, it sounds like they're little pieces of gum in a very... very stylish box. I don't exactly know what this is, but... It's got quite a weight to it, actually. Let's check out what this is. This is Buntan candy. It's a traditional candy started in the 70s. And, um, yeah, it's a citrus that's kind of like known as sweet and sour. And also, each piece is wrapped in rice paper that will melt in your mouth. So, you can eat the wrapping. I am definitely going to try one of these, I think, in the snack review as well. So, keep your eyes open for that. Uh, next up, we have some very clearly grape flavour. Um... Ooh, ooh, wow. Puru mochi. Hey, it's mochi. I love mochi. It's um, it's kind of like a bit like a marshmallow, but it's made in a different version. In a different way. Sorry, method. Um, yeah, okay, so it's grape mochi, I'm presuming then. There's not much more to, uh, to consider. Oh, okay, that's what they look like. Nice. Let's take a look. These are puru mochi grape. And yeah, they're grape gummies and squishy like mochi. So I don't know if they're actually mochi, they may just be gummy things or squishy. But they actually use Japanese grape juice as a uh, part of the recipe, which I'm always up for, because, uh, I don't know, it just makes it more authentic, obviously, but uh, nicer to... Ooh. Ooh, um... Where have I seen that before? Is that from a snack, or is that from a game or an anime? Can't remember. Anyway, this is this month's uh, little bit of gum for sure um every every month you get like little little two piece of gum uh this is probably ramune flavor gamu it says gamu but i don't know what that says because that's in kanji it's very small um 
Yeah, this might be from a game, I reckon. That looks like a PS Vita, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah, okay, let's check out what this is, then. This is Aube gum. It's an ordinary gum. If you chew it for a while, your tongue turns to a different colour. I'm going to go on a limb and say it's blue, because I think Aube is blue. Also, his tongue is blue, so... I think we have enough evidence there to uh, conclude that maybe it is going to turn it blue. Ooh! Ooh, this is some kind of... This isn't... Oh, oh, right, I see. It's meant to look like a can where you'd like, peel it open. And there'd be orange segments inside, I guess. Oh, and there's a question mark. No one knows what it is. Is that fruity gummy? I think fruity gum, maybe, or ferrucci. I don't know. I don't know if I'm reading that right. It's probably orange gummy things, probably. Um, yeah. I like the packaging, it's interesting. Let's see what this is. These are fruit gummy can, and they're mikan slices in a can, just like you can buy in the Japanese supermarket. Apparently they're like um, chewing juicy mikan gummy, so I guess it's like, I don't know if it's actually authentic gummy made out of mikan, which is obviously an orange kind of version thing, or if they just taste like it, uh, I'm probably going to try that on the food review thing as well. Grabbing these things on the front first, I can feel a few big things uh, at the bottom. Oh, we have probably jelly beans. I was going to say chocolate, but I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, I keep doing this. I'll sort of like feel around, look at the packaging, and then the English will just be there somewhere. Yeah, okay, so these are like jelly beans. That's kind of cool. He looks like he's having a wheel of a time. Those top hats quite small. Anyway, let's see exactly what these are then. This is Fruits Jelly Beans, and just like the game Toru played as a child, I don't get that references, these jelly beans are like a fruit basket. Get it? Because they're... Oh, is that where the name of the series comes from? Maybe she played something called Fruit... I don't know. Anyway, yeah, they're, they're fruit jelly beans. I quite like jelly beans. I'll, I'll be honest, though. The crunchy outer layer does put me off a little bit. Like, I don't know what it is, but ooh, these look like tablets. <laughs> um, also, they're quite... I think they're quite hard as well. Obviously, it's orange. Mikan. Mikan. I think it's Mikan. Yeah. Um, right. Cool. Wow, this is very uh, minimalist packaging, really. You just see what's inside. They're little tablets of chewy things, presumably, or hard, crunchy things. Uh, right, let's find out exactly what this is. Ah, there we are. So this is Mikan Mochi, and uh, Mochi is indeed Tangerine. So, um, and yeah, it's just like maybe Momiji made this Mochi like the classic folklore of the Mochi making rabbit on the moon. Again, I, I assume it's one of the cats, or the rabbit, I, I again, um, I appreciate the references, and I'm sure Fruit Basket fans out there probably slapping their knees in delight. Oh, yo, this is, um... Is this the, ah, oh, the, you know, the crown thing? We've had them a few times, though. They're like biscuit things, and the king's lost his crown. Melon. Oh, it's melon. Yo. Oh, it's, oh, yo, it's melon pan. Sorry, I didn't read the rest of it there. It's melon pan. So, um, or melon bread, as it's known, which is that. Like, yo, melon pan is delicious. It's very sweet and stuff. There's, like, melon bread basically, as you'd guess. Oh, so these are melon pan biscuits, I guess. That is pretty darn cool. Let's have a look. This is King's Melon Bread, or Melon Pan. And yeah, it's from the same series, the King's Crown kind of thing. And yeah, it's just really popular in Japan. It's something, it's something you see a lot in um, Slice of Life anime. Like, I don't, I don't watch a ton of it myself, but, you know, when I was younger, I did, like, Shakugan no Shana, I think... Um, Oh, was it lemon bread she was obsessed with or something? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, it looks like a Ramune bottle. Well, I mean, it is uh, kind of a Ramune bottle, I suppose. Just made of plastic. Filled with... Are these, like, pa pistol-y kind of things? Yeah, I think they are. That's not bad, though, because Ramune is that kind of thing, and you get Ramune sweets or whatever. Yeah, that says Ramune up there. And that says... Grape. Oh, grapeu. Yeah. 
That's pretty cool. Okay, well, I'm going to say these are grape flavour things. I may actually have one of these sweets at the end of the video, just to see how they are. This is Ramune Sour Grape, and indeed is Ramune candy, but obviously a sour grape flavour. Not too sure how I feel about that, because I, I like grape. I'm not massive on sour tastes, it just like doesn't do it much for me. Ooh, but we do have one of those gummy stick things, that's grape flavour. What does this say? Kanjia? I don't know. Uh, grape and... Oh, grape and soda. Sorry, that took me a while. Grape and soda. Okay. Wait, grape and soda? Wouldn't it just be grape soda? Okay. Yeah, it's one of those like gummy stick things. I think there was a cooler one in last month, or the month before. I can't remember. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's see exactly what this is then. This is ka Kajiricho uh, Grape and Soda. And yeah, okay, this is actually interesting. So it's grape on the outside and soda on the inside. This It's pretty cool. This, you know, it's, it's, it's a good idea, I think. Right, let's grab one of the big boxes. Ooh. Oh, yo, that looks pretty darn nice. Wasuku? I could be reading that wrong. Rasuku? Um... Oh, Rusk, maybe? Rusku? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Ginza at Rusk. Hey, there we are. Rasuku. Uh, obviously, I can't read that. Oh, actually, it does have the Kana above it. Oh, well. Yeah. Ginza at Rusk. Okay, well. Um, let's find out exactly what this is. Is it going to be, like, coffee stuff, I guess, maybe? This is brown chocolate Ginza Rusk, and uh, yeah, indeed, it's a Rusk, which is crispy, sweet piece of dry toast, kind of. It's not quite what they are, but whatever. They're baked with uh, rich chocolate and coated with uh, cocoa powder. Man, <laughs> that sounds a proper kick of chocolate there. All right then, fair enough. Uh, ooh, what is? It's grape flavour. It says grape on the front. Uh, I'm going to guess they're actually little balls of stuff that taste of grape. And they're probably gum. Let's have a check. This is grape gum. And uh, yeah, original grape looks like a little grape. Tastes like one too. It's grape candy that looks like you're eating tiny grapes or you're a giant eating grapes. Ooh, this, ooh, this is, uh, I'm already going to guess it's a cider or something. Um, yeah, it's just, it's an apple... One of these, I think I had a cooler one uh, two months ago that was quite nice. Yeah, I'm just going to have a look what it is. This is Dungaree Apple Candy and is a lot like Cure. Hard on the outside but soft on the inside. Again, don't know who Cure is. Now there is actually, to be fair, there's a character guide at the end which is quite nice. Which I'll have a quick look at the end of the video. Uh, ooh, ooh. We got two bags of stuff. Ooh, now this is um, uh, uh, shi shi uh, Shimikon. Um, ooh, is this green tea? Is this matcha Shimikon? So Shimikon are stars. They're like biscuity things. Oh, yo, this is matcha. Ho oh, ho, yes. Matcha, I will say, has a bit of a bitter taste and a bit of a sweet taste. Like it's not for everyone. But man, I I think that's matcha green tea, which is one of my favourite teas. Yo, right, let's have a check. This is matcha milk shimmy choco. So shimmy choco, not shimmy con, although it does say shimmy con. Anyway, um, yes, yeah, limited flavour. It's Uji matcha and white chocolate, a popular bittersweet flavour combo in Japan. I am very much. Good. I mean, shimmy con are always really nice. I've had the strawberry, I've had the chocolate. But like, ooh, a matcha one specifically sounds pretty cool. Uh, tell you what, let's grab the drink. Ooh, it has a, it has an, a uh, schoolgirl. What? Hang on. Oh, what? It's got pocky. Okay. What? It tastes. Does it? Oh, oh yo, what is this? What is this? Oh, is this some kind of tea? Po <laughs> tea flavour pocky? Drink? What? Ah, I see, and the other side is him looking over at her. She's kind of shy. And 
it wraps around indefinitely. What the? So he's on his phone or something, and she has just left stuff on her. Okay, man, this looks like chocolatey or tea, I suppose. Maybe is this like milk tea or something? What's the pocky stuff? Right, let's find out. This is afternoon tea, cheese milk tea flavour. So cheese tea is apparently a thing, and afternoon tea, the company made their own cheese milk taste the milk tea tasting like mascarpone. Mascarpone is cheese, isn't it? Hmm. I and the yeah, the design is like school setting. I really do not know how I feel about this, but I have a feeling I shall have to try it out in my snack reviews. Uh, in my snack review. Just singular. I could do more, I suppose. And let's end on... Ooh, it's Calbee. You know it's good. Uh, oh, oh dear, is that wasabi? <laughs> oh, alright. I like wasabi, it's just... Mm. Like, some things do it well, other things don't. Like, I've had the wasabi seaweed packs before, and they're alright, but like, yo, it's hard to eat. So is this just wasabi potato chips? Okay, let's let's have a look. These are Katage potato salt and wasabi, and yeah, they're wasabi potato chips. Oh man, that... Take a whiff of fresh wasabi, Jesus Christ, wasabi, it's pretty darn hot. I'm up for trying these as well though, I think I'll make a, quite a long food review, but definitely up for trying this. I may even get a guest appearance by someone I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to quickly check inside. Nope, nothing else. And yeah, we just get, ah, we get a reverse of the back. Um, and I believe that says matane. Uh, wait, no it doesn't. Tadaima. I'm home? Tadaima? Ah, oh, I see, because fruit, ba fruit Baskets is back. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, that's really nice, actually. Man, the illustrations, like, you get for the anime collaboration things are really darn cool. But yeah, right. Well, I'm going to go rearrange them in a pleasing manner and I quickly have a check through here in case there's anything else and then I'll do a wrap-up. So, see you in a minute. All right, I am back. Uh, yeah, so I've arranged everything. I did have a quick look. There's a kind of cool relationship chart. Just summarises how the characters interact with each other. Um, you know, I, as I said, I'm, I, I don't know if I'll tune into the new Roots Basket, but I will say what it has inspired is pretty darn cool. So, as I said at the start of the video, I'm a big fan of fruity, like, flavoured snacks. Um, and this has delivered, because... Mostly it's sweet stuff, but all of the sweet stuff is mostly like orange and uh, melon flavour and grape. And those are three things I really like. Um, so yeah, it's it's very summery, kind of fruity theme. Uh, definitely some of the highlights, I think, would have to be... The wasabi thing sounds interesting. <laughs> I'm up for that. The mint uh, fish thing is pretty darn cool. And I just look forward to trying the various... Um, orange related things and obviously as I mentioned I will be doing a snack review which is like a you know a compilation of about six to eight snacks or whatever and try and I may do another one as well I don't know see how it goes um but also as promised I'm going to quickly crack open this and give one of these grape ramune things a try because um yeah I'm a big fan of ramune actually I'll be right back e, there we are right sorry I wasn't sure how long that would take so pop it open, drop it in my hand, so I drop it in my hand, hey, right, okay, I will just have one for now, right, let's give it a try, hmm, that's really pleasant, actually, ooh, it's a bit of a kick of um, sourness, but yeah, like, it's weird, because um, they've got a bit of a cold feeling to them, if that makes sense, yeah, it's sort of like powdery, when you bite into it, there's kind of a wash, wash of flavours, and yeah, it's definitely grape, but a bit sour. It's uh, That's really nice, it's quite refreshing as well, which I wasn't quite expecting. Anyway, yeah, so that about wraps up my video of this. Um, as always, in the comments below, let me know if you'd like to see any one of these things particularly done in the food review. Um, 
you know, I've mentioned some of them, the big ones I'll be doing, I'll be trying that cheese tea thing. Still don't know how I feel about that, but we'll see how it goes. And anyway, I shall leave a link to other video things at the end of this. As always, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I will see you guys again in the next video.